Hey, how we doing tonight? Joanna slash Brandon. I think I got everything I'm gonna need for tonight. The beta client decided to kick me back a level, so I'm not 35 anymore, which means I don't have the moose collar anymore. So otherwise, I, I just need the moose collar, the stress fawn collar, and elk collar for the big guys, because there's no collar for the bison. Let's get everything set up here. Well, I'm hoping I got it fixed. Um, I haven't really played it the last couple of days, so for all I know, it doesn't work. Nice, plenty of am ammunition now. I just need to figure out what I'm going to go hunt. Oh yeah, how's that been going along for you? Been going fun? Sorry, I'm trying to set up a poll. See what everybody wants to see me hunt first. Thanks, my well. I appreciate that. Hey, guys, in the upper right-hand corner of the screen, or in the feed, you'll see a little eye. If you click that, it'll do a drop-down menu for a poll. Let me know what you guys want to see me hunt first. Uh, I'll give it probably 10 minutes or so and see what we get for a result out of that. What makes it so good? Um, just the new location or all the new items or just kind of everything in between?
I don't know what you mean by that, Kyler, but I will try to do so. Thanks, Matthew. I really appreciate that. I try to um, try to lay things out so that it's easy to understand. And there's a lot of stuff that the game doesn't tell you. It's it's very very stingy about handing out information. So um, sure. I unfortunately haven't put out 101 in a little while. So um, no, I'm trying to get that shot placement video out. It's just I want it to be perfect. And if it's not perfect, I don't want to put it out because um, I feel like that's that specifically that topic is something that I really need to do just right. I can't wait to try it out, bud. Not sure why I did that, but... Alright guys, remember, upper right of the feed is the lie. If you hover over that, it'll um, drop down a menu. Go ahead and make your selection for what you want to see me hunt first. For right now, I'm just going to kind of wander around. Oh, really? Two weeks? That soon? Nice. Can't wait. Uh, Kyler, if I'm absolutely honest with you, I never did that mission. Um, I actually only did a couple of the missions here in Leighton Lakes, like the first maybe two or three. Um, I'm actually on the point where Doc's like, oh, there's not very much blacktail left in the lakes. And if you, uh, if you see bear tracks, let me know. That's as far as I got on it. Um, Mostly because when I was actually starting to do the missions, that one was super buggy, so I didn't want to deal with it. Um, so I just ended up not doing it. Northern Maine, huh, Woolers? You're right up there. You can't get there from here. Yeah, and Kyler, they did change that mission. You don't have to take a picture of two bears in the same picture, which is nice because that was super buggy, but um, they did change it so that... Um Listen. Hold on, guys. I'm going to have to verbally decapitate my fiance. Anyway, sorry about that, guys. Take care, man. Well, good for you to stop in, buddy. Um, yeah, so they changed. You only had to take a picture of two separate bears, not two bears in the same picture, which is nice. Uh, and Kyle, I don't know when the 
um, snow maps going to come for Xbox One. They haven't really given us any indication of when. I do know that the console games um, are a couple patches behind PC, though. All right, let's check that poll. <laughs> Yeah, I don't know how they work for mobile. <laughs> so, so we have moose, elk, and brown bear all tied. Hey Gus, how's it going? <laughs> Guys, I'm creeping right up on a thousand subscribers. I'm a hundred away. I'm actually like 95 away or something like that. So um, I'm really, really happy we're getting to that point. I never thought I'd even get to 500, much less blow straight past 500 and head towards a thousand at a pretty decent, uh, pretty decent clip. Well, Woolard's uh, 270 is 100% integrity if you only kill the animal with one shot on Whitetail, but it's not on Blacktail. It's always zero on Blacktail, which is kind of a kind of a bummer because it's an acceptable caliber for that animal. So um, that's one of the biggest gripes I have is their integrity bonus system and what weapon you use for which animal. What's she running around for? Nothing but females down here. We need the big old boys. Well, I wonder what's got them running around. I hope that's not like the bug I was running into the other night with the reindeer. Gus, thanks a lot, man. I appreciate it. With the five pin, um, so it's it's kind of tricky. Yeah, geez, I hope this isn't gonna be buggy again tonight. If it is, I'm gonna be really disappointed. I gotta actually make sure my integrity bonus is up. Or my successive kill. Yeah, I saw that. Um, I'm a little miffed that they basically took everybody's money for regular spin tires and then re released it as spin tires mud runner just with a few extra vehicles and maps. Um, I mean, I don't know. I don't own the original spin tires, but I'm glad to see it came out on console though. That definitely uh, that broadens the. Um, the uh, yeah, the word that I'm looking for, and I can't quite figure out right now. Anyway, okay, what was I saying? Oh yeah, this bow. So, the middle pin is good up to about 30 yards. Um, uh, middle pin, middle bottom pin, so the first one down is up to... 40 to 50 the bottom one is technically good for like 60 to 70 but you'd never um shoot up to that range so basic rule of thumb is with any of the bow sights whether it's a single pin um 
the three pin or the five pin just aim the middle pin on the animal as long as you have them within say 30 to 40 meters and you're usually going to hit them you shouldn't be shooting at them over that distance anyway are all my are all my uh tracks set to white they are how did that happen Let's try this. So, which way did it go? Had to have gone up here with the rest of them. Let's see, what is that? Yeah, I know. 30 to 40, well, over 40, it's, you might as well not even bother. Oh, good, she's right up here. I really, really wish they'd change the compound bows. There's no reason that they shouldn't be able to hit an animal at 70, 80 meters easy. Like, they just... I've gone over this a hundred times, and I feel like a broken record saying it, but they act like traditional bows in the way they work right now. Alright, so my consecutive harvest bonus is already at... Um, 100%. Yeah, and there's actually, um, there's perks, no, skills. Hold on. Hold, please. So, let's see here. Uh, is it this one? No. Connect the dots, yeah. So, connect the dots. Each time a track is investigated, a trail line is automatically drawn on, drawn on your hunter mate between tracks of the active trail and the animal you are tracking. Trail direction is also indicated with an arrow. Investigated tracks that were not dropped in consecutive order have the dotted line drawn between them to indicate that there are more tracks to be found to complete the trail. The online will not occur if three tracks in the order are skipped. So, it's kind of nice to have um, just because it'll outline on your um, your little hunter mate what direction the animal went in. Wait, I have a perk point available? When did this happen? Did I, oh, I just leveled up. Ooh, I can go get the moose collar. Yeah, and I don't think it's going to be a release and forget thing. I think they're definitely going to be, um, uh, you know, updating it and everything. It's just behind console, uh, behind PC a little yeah. bit. All right, let's go up and get that moose collar because I'm going to need that if I'm going to hunt moose tonight. Let me, uh, let me just check the poll real quick. All right, so we got moose ahead at 50% of the votes. We've got brown bear and bison trailing behind at 25% of the votes. So, looks like we're doing moose first. So let's get up there and get that moose collar. Uh, I only played a little bit, like maybe a week of classic, and I didn't particularly care for it. No, I think console is a couple patches behind PC, unless they just recently patched it, because there were some things that PC still had that, like the manual reloading and everything, that um, console did not yet have. Uh, it's the same thing with recoloring the tracks, I believe. Julian Bay is hi, how you doing? 
Welcome to the stream. So the poll was concluded and we're going to be going after Moose to start. Um, right now, actually, why don't I just run up there? I'm heading up to the um, outpost so I can buy my Moose collar because I just hit 35. Now, if I see a good elk along the way, I'm not going to pass it up. Yeah, see, I don't have the console version, so I don't quite know at what stage it's at. Well, that's what the game model is based around, is those microtransactions. You know, it's, you, you play the game a la carte. You play with exactly what you want and nothing that you, nothing that you don't. Sweet, we got our moose collar so we can head back down. So what time is it? Let's uh let's rest. We'll get a nice early start to the day. It's a good game, man. If you get a chance, you should definitely pick it up, whether it's for PC or console. Well, the um, the Camo 270 was a reward for pre-ordering the game, I believe. Um, or was that a pre-ordering, or it was you could buy it in a bundle with the um, the Scent Hounds pack for regular call uh, for regular the Hunter for Classic the Hunter. Uh, Backpacks was a DC that came out not too long ago. Um, I know you guys have everything up to ATVs. But there's a couple of special reskin weapons in the game. Um, there's a reskin 7 mil that's silver. Um, you got that from buying the physical copy of the game, of the PC version of the game. Um, and then there's a handgun, and I think you got that from buying it off of Amazon? I don't remember. Well, I know they have said that they want to take a lot of the elements of Classic and mold it into this, um, but they're not going to... This isn't going to be cl uh, Classic 2, is what they've basically come out saying. Well, okay, so here's how the sound system works. So when I'm just stock still, you'll notice that it's just the three dots. That's as quiet as I can be. And then the sound level will increase based on how much I'm moving. So one bar is not much noise. Two is more noise. Um, and then three bars is a decent amount of noise. And then there's another three levels after that, which are the red ones. Once you get into the red, um, animals are going to hear you coming from quite a distance away. Um, up to three, I think it's like 150 meters away, the animals will hear you. Um, and it changes based on what you're doing. So um, walking, I make a certain amount of noise. If I crouch, I make less noise. If I crouch fast, I make more. If I'm running, I'll make a ton of noise. Uh, if I'm running through brush or walking through brush, you'll notice the sound level changing. That's because I'm ripping through the branches and just making a lot of noise.
Yeah, I've noticed that, Gus. That would have been the limited time I played, like, I, I just had a very basic license. It was given to me by the um, by the devs because I was doing the um, wiki for this game, um, sort of as a thank you kind of thing. And I was only able to hunt three or four different types of animals, and I could never find them anywhere, and the ones I couldn't shoot were all over the place. I hated it. Um, wasn't a big fan of the game, to be truthful. I did like that there were birds and stuff in the game, but it just... The moment you step into it and start looking in the store and everything, you, you can tell that it's a huge time and money sink. Well, there's nothing but calves out here, isn't there? Or calves, cows. What's wrong with me? Yeah, it's well, it's a shame that this doesn't have 4K support on the uh, PS4 Pro, or on the PC for that matter. At least not proper support. Uh, there's not much out this morning. There's usually a lot of stuff down through here. Well, Julian, when I was younger, I had a, um, a bear bow. It was a uh, 50 pound draw, I think, 60 pound draw. And in retrospect, it was way too much for a 13 year old kid, but it was fun to shoot. Sorry, Jen, what's up, my man? It's good to see you back in the stream. I knew you'd pop your face in eventually. See him being smart, I'm walking away from the wind tonight. Just a reminder for everybody, since I'm, I've got a little moment of downtime here, um, I do have a bunch of social media accounts. Um, I do have a Twitter, I've got a Facebook, and I've got a Steam group, uh, and I have a Discord channel. All that information is down in the description, so if you want to check those out and go subscribe to them or whatever, go for it. And if not, well, go piss up a rope. I'm kidding. Don't do that. It's going to make an awful mess. Uh, I also stream over on Twitch. So Tuesdays and Thursday nights is when I stream on Twitch, Monday and Friday over here on YouTube. So if you watch games over on Twitch, by all means, go send me a follow. Uh, the link again is down in the description. What were you using before, Gus? I think I remember you talking to me about this, but I, I, I don't remember for sure. I'm bad about that. Blair, welcome to the stream. Yeah, tonight it's going to be bow hunting just for the big guys. So elk, moose, bison, and brown bear. Um, we took a poll earlier, Sergeant, and moose won. So we're going to hunt some moose first, if I can find any. So far, all I've seen is females. Hey, thanks, Sergeant. Well, D DJ, what I've noticed is that, I mean, the game does require a pretty decent graphics card, um, but it will chug along your processor if you're not careful. Um, I think like a GTX 1060, three gig will be more than sufficient to run this game at max settings. Um, I've got 16 gigs of RAM, I've got a three and a half gigahertz pen, um, Intel i7 processor, uh, GTX 1080 Ti, and I mean the game runs great for me. I actually have to dumb down the graphics for um, streaming because the um, if I turn them up too high, it's gonna make um, I'm gonna make my OBS bog down because my processor the processor is kind of old. Um, so that's what I use to run the game. But if I turn all the settings up to max, it runs butter smooth for me. It just really drops the frames in OBS and then consequently drops them going out to YouTube as well. 650 Ti up to a 1050, that's a pretty big jump, Gus. I bet, uh, I bet you're really feeling that.
What do we got going on over here? Female. So, see, they're acting just like the reindeer did the other night. With their running, stopping, running, stopping, running, stopping. I really hope that's not going to be a, an ongoing issue. It's almost like they can sense me from a, a ways away, like I'm on the ATV or something. But it doesn't seem to be affecting the deer. I know the moose would smell me and run away. But I'm really hoping animals aren't going to be frozen like they were the other night. Oh, there we go. There's a big boy. That's a very respectable car, DJ. Um, you know, if you don't want to spend the extra money for a 1070 or a 1080 or a 1080 TDI for that matter, um, pretty good bang for your buck to get that six gig card. Just make sure you've got the memory and the processor to back it up too. Eight gig, eight gig should be more than enough. 16 would probably be better. Um, I would recommend probably an i5 processor or higher. Uh, i3 could do it, but it's gonna chug. Like right now, running the game on the settings that I'm running it, plus the streaming, my processor's sitting at 14% usage. Oh yeah, Julian, Pennsylvania is the home of Big Whitetail. We've got pretty big Whitetail up in New Hampshire, but um, Pennsylvania's got some big ones. But the problem is, is there's so many hunters there that it's, it's really hard to actually get anything. Yeah, they did little, look a little tingly, Sergeant. All right, now that we're posted up here, let's see if we can't pull this big boy down. Let me just see where he is first. There he is. Well, the wind in the PC version is really, really loud too. The rain. When the rain and the wind really start whipping on this map, it's terrible. That's that's more than enough uh, processor and memory for this game. Here he comes. He's not a big boy, but it's a good start for the day. I actually have been streaming from my PlayStation 4 the last couple days. Um, doing some No Man's Sky. That's been actually been like doing that. Um, it's pretty easy to stream from it. Just, you know, I don't have my overlays or anything or my camera. There we go with the color bug again. Oh, of course you stop behind a bush. Come on, big boy, get over. What? What is up with this?
told me your graphics card was not strong enough or suggested something that would run on min settings, not others for max settings. What did it recommend for max settings? Because your card should be able to run this on max settings, no problem. Yeah, if I can find a 200 plus moose, I'll definitely shoot it. Bastard. Really? Are you telling me that was just oh, a flesh hey. wound? For what the hell? Oh yeah, definitely your 650 would not be enough to run this game. It is probably going to have a lot of trouble at uh, even the low settings, much less the max. Well, Julian, I use, uh, not Audacity, um, Adobe Premiere to do my video editing. A little bit of a learning curve to it, but it's pretty powerful. I can't believe that that was only a flesh wound. That was right in the chest. I also can't believe that he just randomly started running around like an idiot. They need to fix that, because that's really, really, really bad. That I can't hunt anything because everything just runs around. Ooh, what's that? Yeah, see, look at them running around like fools. That's crazy. Guys, I'm really hoping that I'm going to be able to hunt tonight because that's that's such a pain. And Julian, I just use my gaming PC to do video editing. I mean, yeah, it might be nice to have one, a separate one specifically for video editing, but um, it's not by all means not necessary. Brown bear with a revolver? Easy peasy, going and squeezy. The 454 will take down a brown bear, no problem. Yeah, I mean, it's funny in all, Sergeant, but it's it's really annoying that they added this bug into the game with this Halloween patch. And then only like six hours ago, or something like that, sent out a tweet saying, hey, we're aware that some animals are acting weird. Like, it's been like that since you guys released the patch. This is nothing new. And this was an issue on the beta uh, client as well. So we told them about it and they still released it like that. Like they still release it with a bunch of issues that we told them about, which kind of irritates us because we tell them what's wrong with the game when they tell us to test it and then they just don't change it. They just release it anyway. Hey man, seeing one up in the tree would be more interesting for you guys to watch than me constantly scaring animals just by being within 300 meters of them. Or chest shots turning into flesh wounds magically. Like he should have dropped on the spot and now I'm having to chase him all over creation and that's just kind of pissing me off. Like I can't stream this game if animals act like that, which means that people are irritated because I'm not streaming what they want to see. Like he's been stuck at 25 to 50%, so like we'll see if I even find him. Sorry guys, it's just really annoying. Because like this isn't the first time that they've done this, where we said, "Hey, these this is a list of all the issues in this beta client right now," 
And I said, okay, great, thanks for testing. And then they still released the thing and it's still got all the same problems, plus new ones. Yeah, the 600 grain. Even if they were 420 grain, it would still do a pretty damn good amount of damage on them. It would, wouldn't be just a flesh wound. It'd be a flesh wound with 300s. Like, I shit you guys not, we got the beta client, the patch for the Halloween thing, a week before you did. Yeah, he's stuck on 25 to 50%. I'm not going to catch him. He's not going to drop. He's just stuck on that and continuously running. Sorry guys, that was uh, that was supposed to be a nice little kill, but I had high hopes and everything, and then I got screwed up. Well, thanks, Comet. I really appreciate you saying that. I mean, I'm not a super interesting dude or nothing, but I'm glad that people enjoy watching me play these games. I just, I wish I had better gameplay to give you, you know? No problem, Sergeant. I'm glad you came in. Julian, I actually kind of wish that they would add that to this game, the small game hunting. Um, that would be a really interesting change, especially because there's already squirrels and rabbits and um, little ermines in here, so... Excuse me. I suppose I should have tested to see if animals were still buggy before I decided to do this stream, but you know, it is what it is. Yeah, look, geez, I tracked him all over creation. Super Saiyan 1001 just grew a beer. Thank you, man. One more towards uh, that 1000, that magical four digit number. Well, Matthew, I've been making videos for only a couple months now. I think back in April, May, I did my first Hunter 101. Um, well, actually, you know what? I will find out because I'm actually curious. Yeah, May 23rd is when uh, Hunter 101 number one came out. Oh, I hate how it does that. <laughs> So my first video came out May 23rd, and I was releasing one every week and a half, two weeks after that. Um, I went through a dry spell where I just got sick of playing Hunter. Um, it just, I played it so much because I was working on the wiki, I was doing beta testing, I was doing a whole bunch of stuff, I just, right, well, so I got burnt out on it. Um, as far as streaming, month now, maybe, something like that. Um, seriously streaming. Um, I did a couple, you know, here and there before that, but nothing really organized. I started out on Twitch, but then I found out that I could do 
higher quality on YouTube. I'd prefer to stream more on Twitch, but um, I'd have to wait till I'm partnered or whatever to get the higher quality streams. So for right now, I'll stream in both places. And yeah. Anyway, let's catch up with chat. Wesley Weber, thank you for that. Yes, I would like to see tree stands and traditional bows added to the game. Placeable tree stands, that is. The ones that they have don't now, right now don't count. Um, kind of like what they have in Classic. In Classic, they've got placeable tree stands. And they're actually a really nice feature to the game. They work really well. So I'd like to see those. Um, definitely want to see traditional bows get into the game, maybe even crossbows. And Wesley, thank you for the comments. It is a nice beard, isn't it? It used to be a lot bigger than it is now, actually, believe it or not. It used to be down to here, I think. Guys, I really appreciate the kind comments and everything. That that does it means a lot to me that you guys are just as happy to watch me fumble farting around with buggy animals as you are to watch me actually do some good hunts. <laughs> Even though I'm not seeing any animals right now. I know there was a bug when the AT breeze first came out where even when you got off of them and you were walking around, it was treating you like you were making the same amount of noise as the ATV. Uh, so even just walking around, you'd be scaring animals in a really big radius around you. I wonder if this is related to that some at some point. Yeah, no, I agree. If they're going to add traditional bows, they should really, really redo um the compounds and make them act like actual trunk compounds if any of you are in tradition traditional archery there's two podcasts i can recommend uh wired to hunt and trad geeks are really good podcasts uh, specifically about uh, traditional archery and hunting with traditional bows um they're they're really really cool the guys who do them are great it's just you know they're each show is just two guys, you know, they're just regular old guys who decided to do a show, who decided one day to get into traditional archery, um, and then decided they wanted to share it with everybody, and it's really informative and fun. And um, Trad Geeks has got a little bit better production value to it, but, um, you know, Wired to Hunt is a great podcast, too. Well, Wesley, someday you might. Someday you'll uh, you'll be able to grow one like this. Maybe not today, but someday. Well, well Lords, I, I have always had kind of a soft spot for Layton, um, only because that was the first map I started in. I like it because you get these really long line of sights that you can shoot from with rifles. Um, and Hirschfeld to me is just too um, it's too. I don't want to say claustrophobic, but there's an awful lot of hills and close brush and everything. It's it's hard to take good shots at animals there. Um, I do like Siberia, though, just because of the ambience of it. Um, so. Well, Taryn, actually, let's go down to the water here. Some of the water, if you look in it, does have fish swimming around. It would be an interesting addition, but... Um, a lot of people would have been opposed to that idea. I, that idea has been brought up more than once, and every time people said, no, I don't want fish in my my hunting game, and I don't want hunting in my fishing game, and I don't know, why can't we have an all-around game that encompasses all of that? I mean, it's, you know, they can barely balance the hunting and the animal behavior on land as it is, much less in the water, but... Oh. Later. Anyway, maybe if I turn the water quality down, maybe you'll see it a little bit better. Mm, it's kind of hard to see. I don't see it right now, but I do know I've seen fish in the water before. Uh, yeah, I don't see any.
See, but then she's just ignoring my presence. Oh, that was in the gut, I think. No? There she goes. Down like a bad habit. Oh, I thought that was in the gut. Oh, well. Well, at least I got something out of it. Anyway, well, at least you guys got to shoot me. Watch me shooting down two things. Just too bad they weren't the things we wanted to shoot. Um, yeah, Matthew, I can't believe I'm at almost a thousand subscribers right now. It blows my mind that that many people want to see my stuff, but um, I'm glad that they do. And I'm glad that you guys are all here and talking to me and hanging out and watching the video. It really makes me feel good that all of you want to spend time with me like that. Um, I'd like to keep growing my subscribers. Um, with the release of the console version, I got a huge jump, and I think a lot of that's because of Hunter 101, so I know a lot of my viewers prefer to watch um, Call of the Wild content, but, you know, I'm going to be releasing other content, too, and streaming other games, and um, so I kind of hope everybody's going to tag along for the ride on that, but... Uh, Wesley, I have hunted in real life. Um, not recently, but I have hunted in real life. Um, just Whitetail. And Julian Fooster is a great guy. He makes some awesome videos. Sorry guys, talking to the fiance before she hits the bed. Um, what colors do I recommend for the different track colors? Whatever is most comfortable for you. Um, I was so used to having the cyan for the uh, um, active track and white for the um, inactive tracks, but then they changed it and I kind of liked having um, yellow for the active and cyan for the inactive after Medvin came out, because when Siberia came out, white doesn't show up very well. Sergeant, I don't really like classic to be truthful. I tried a little bit, it just wasn't for me. Thanks, Scum. That was kind of my, my whole goal is to make videos that are easy to understand and, you know, get the information in a way that people can easily digest it and not have a bunch of fluff around it. I have not DJ, never heard of that show before. What's it about? Bovi, old buddy, old pal. Good to see you in the stream, man. It's nice to see all these familiar faces coming back in from time to time. Oh good, she didn't go very far. Yeah, Super, there hasn't been very much in the way of hunting games on console, that's for sure. And the ones that have been there have been very arcadey. So it's nice to see a simulation like this. I'm really bummed that all I'm getting are these females. Like, where are all the males? I saw the one, and then that was it. Oh, 
Like normally this area is just infested with them. Right? It's the only normal acting elk that I've found so far. Everybody else has been acting stupid. <laughs> yeah, Scott, I'm never going to be famous. At least I, I don't think I'm ever going to be famous. That's not the goal, at least, for this is um, to be famous. The goal is to just kind of hang out, play video games, and talk to people while they do it. I mean, if that means that a lot of people start watching me, then I mean, cool, all the more. But um, that's definitely not the goal. My goal is definitely to continuously evolve my ability to bring the content to you guys, though, to make sure that I have up to date equipment and that I'm able to give you really good quality streams and, um, you know, new release games and things like that. So, I mean, I'm going to strive really, really hard to uh, make sure that I keep up to date with everything. But, um, you know, that takes money and money's hard to come by. So, you know, some stuff may be delayed a little bit. Mm -hmm. That's just going to have to be what it is. Actually, yes, you know, you know what the uh, one of my favorite hunting games was when I was younger? Carnivores, and if you've never played it, look it up. It's an awesome game. Uh, you basically play a hunter um, that goes to another planet that was discovered full of dinosaurs, uh, and you can hunt them. You can hunt everything all the way up to T Rex with um, crossbows and sniper rifles and everything else. It's a really fun game. You can take trophies. It actually had a trophy room. This game doesn't have a trophy room, but a game from pff, 20 years ago had a trophy room. Was did uh, one of my videos just kind of show up as a related video for Flinter? Or? Yeah, these girls aren't going to let me get very close. Yeah, Gus, I mean, the bears will attack you occasionally. The black bears will, at least. Um, let's see, there's a male over there, but I can't get to him. I guess I'm going to have to go back. Yeah, no, none of them are going to be normal, man. I never played Ice Age. I just only played Carnivores 1 and Carnivores 2. And I love, I love those games. I played the hell out of them. Right, Sergeant? Will these animals be normal? Find out next time on Dragon Ball Z. Yeah, the black bears will charge you, um, but they're very, very bad at it. Like, they're terrible at it. Um, like, they'll charge right up to you and then stop short. Charge up to you and then stop short. So as long as you keep backing up, they won't ever actually hurt you. Have not played Primal, but I, I've 
seen it uh, some gameplay videos, and it does seem like it's a pretty fun game. Interesting, at least. All right, where is this mail that I just saw? Up this way. Oh, what am I doing? Will this guy be normal? Probably not. The brown bear will actually kill you pretty quickly. They take off a good chunk of your health when they attack you, and they will attack you. Well, I guess I must be getting big as I'm getting spam bots in here. Justin, hi, the survival guy. Thanks for joining the stream, man. I'm glad that you're loving the game. I'm glad that you're watching the videos. Well, I just heard the clippity clomp of a moose. Where is he? Let's see if I can't call him out. Hey, thanks for that subscribe, Justin. Well, there's a female. Well, he was here, and I guess he must have wandered off in the interim. Of course, the wind has shifted, and that's now blowing right at where he was. Zero luck, Ulysses. Like, that's the best luck I've had so far. Just because all the animals are acting like stupid. Well, I'm not... Hmm. I'm not sure that arrow did a lot of damage right there. Maybe, so you know how the animal flipped up in the air? Maybe it wasn't because I hit it with the arrow, but because it leapt into the air and grabbed it between its legs, and now it's playing dead. It's like, ah, you got... You got me, and it's got a tucked on reach its leg. <sighs> okay. Well, at least it was a heart shot. Looks like that male decided to buzz off. No, I have not gotten a spirit bear. I have actually haven't done the Halloween quest yet. Um, actually, I was saving that for tomorrow night. Um, my Twitch stream, I'm probably going to do it over there. Is this his tracks? Yeah, this is his tracks. Yeah, it looks like I scared him off. I'm not going to try and track him down with the wind at my back. Yeah, the heart shots on Moose are, well, on anything really, are tricky just because of the offset that the arrow has when you shoot it. So I'm really lucky I actually hit the heart. I was aiming just for the lung, but hey, there you go. Happy little accident, as Bob Ross would say. Also, Julian, do not ask to be a moderator, please. Um, I'm only going to make a moderator when I feel like I need one, and I don't need one right now.
and when I do need one, um, I will pick somebody at that point, but uh, don't ask to be a moderator. Yeah, I'm sure they'll have something for Christmas. Um, you know, if, if Halloween's any indication, they'll have something for Christmas as well. Um, but they, nothing's come onto the beta server yet, so I don't know. But our luck, we'll get it a week before Christmas, and then you guys will get it, and it'll be bugged to hell. Kind of like this one. Yeah, they, people have suggested to them that they open up to mods. Um quite a lot ever since the game came out and um, they've steadfastly refused because they don't want people to kind of tamper with their vision of the game. I mean, I can kind of understand that they've got the, a very specific vision of or path of what they want the game to take and, you know, they don't want to have that diluted by people making mods where you can shoot Barney or whatever. So, um, I mean, I can kind of understand that, but it would be nice to have mods that, you know, change the UI or whatever else. And you know, good quality mods a lot of times can be folded into the actual game itself by the dev team. Well, Eklund, there's no real good best spot to hunt on any map. It's really just go to um, where you want to shoot the animals. I mean, it's, it's really what it comes down to is you're you're going to go for wherever the animal you want to shoot is and you know which case moose are typically down around water and elk can be in the hilly regions and bear are everywhere and um, coyote are usually down in the lowland areas um you know just walk around that's the biggest thing is just walk around um you know there's no hot spots for hunting like there used to be it used to be there's a couple hot spawn places where the animals were bugged and you'd get a ton of them in one area but for the most part they fixed all those yeah belmont's pretty good just because it's it's rife with black tail and white tail and some black bear which are all really easy to call in and shoot well black bear is not quite so easy but um, the black tail and white tail are usually pretty easy. Ulysses, I think it's around 100 meters um, that they'll initiate that call. Yeah, Justin, some people, have, or a lot of people have suggested maybe it'd be nice to have some survival kind of elements to it, like be able to take the animal that you've downed and cook it and eat it and whatever else, but um, I don't know. I don't know about that idea. I mean, I, I feel like if you want that, you should go play a survival game, whereas this is a hunter game. Um, other people have suggested that we have to pack out our animals when we shoot them, but I'm not really sure why somebody won't want to sign themselves up willingly for that kind of tedium. It is so quiet out here. I'm almost wondering if maybe I should go to someplace else on the map. Maybe we shouldn't. Let's do that. Usually a good amount of moose down through here. Yeah, DJ, your score needs to be above 950 to be a diamond. But congratulations on your mythical. Those are a bitch to take down. All right, guys, uh, it's a little over an hour into the stream. Um, I'm going to take a quick bio break, and I will be right back. Um, and then we will pick up the hunt from where we're staying right here. So just give me five minutes, guys, and I'll be right back.
All right, I'm back. All right, let me uh, let me catch up on chat here. Um, yeah, Sergeant, I wish they would have a trophy haul in this game as well as uh, the ability to take um, trophy shots with your animals like they do in Classic. That would be a nice touch. Uh, Terran, yeah, I do, I do agree. An African map would be really nice. I don't know why they haven't done it yet. I can't imagine that it's not on uh, the list of things they want to do. Um, we talked about this in stream before. I think part of it is the uh, ethical concern with the hunting of lions and that, uh, well, it is just an electronic animal. Some people would um, argue that it is encouraging the hunting of these animals. and uh, There's all sorts of ethical and moral sticking points with that uh, in, in terms of a uh, from a PR standpoint um, so uh, let's see here yeah no you you earn a lot more money for coyote or fox um, in lynx than you do for uh, all the prey animals because the prey animals are a lot easier to hunt uh, whereas the predators are um, a little bit more wary harder to get Justin, I know you're probably gone already, but thanks for coming along, guys. I really appreciate that. Um, Megan, that's okay. It's only an hour in. We get another little while ago. Um, Super, I don't think you can change your tracking color just yet on console. I think you guys are a couple patches behind. Lord's venison is really, really good meat. Um, a lot of people think it's tough and gamey, but it really isn't. It all depends on how you cook it. Um, the thing about venison you got to remember is there's not a lot of fat in it, um, so it's a you know very lean meat. That means it can dry out and toughen up very very easily. So um, as long as you're cooking it hot and fast, nice hot pan with some olive oil, a little bit of salt on it, slap it in, get a good sear on both sides, you're good to go. If you cook it on slow heat or you try and cook it you know for a long time, you got to cook it a really long time before it starts to come apart. Um, venison pot roast actually is really really good because um, venison takes really well to braising um, but if you overcook it it becomes super tough and really really gamey bear is great bear is very tasty depending on the time of year that you harvest it uh, typically in the spring after they've just come out of their hibernation it can be kind of greasy and blech. Uh but end of the summer uh, early fall when I've been snacking on apples and berries and things like that very very tasty moose is great too Kool-Aid cool Kade cool Kade isn't cool how's it going thank you for coming in uh, do you think they'll continue making hunting games and so what's something you'd like to see um, I don't know if these guys will continue to make hunting games I mean they've already made the hunter classic call of the wild and the hunter primal which we're not going to talk about primal um, that's a cool concept, but God, it was flawed. That, even one of the devs I was talking to one day, he goes, "Yeah, th that should have. We should have never green lighted that. It was a huge mistake to bring out Primal, and to still be charging thirty bucks, I think, for it even to this day." I do think that in this engine, done right, dinosaur hunting would be really, really cool. But that's only because I'm a dinosaur nerd. Um, and I'd love to see dinosaurs in a setting like this, in this kind of a beautiful game engine. Well, there's not a whole lot to see out here either, is there? What's that? Female moose. That's all it is, is all female thing. Golly. Antlers, antlers, my kingdom for some antlers. That's just a female. Female, female. There's just females all over the place. Shoot, get on out of here. Go on, get. Um, but yeah, I definitely like to see them open up an African reserve. Um, maybe Indian. South American might be interesting. Um, 
There's a lot of possibilities. You just gotta get off their butts and do it. The problem is, is they have a uh, very small dev team, so. Ulysses, tomorrow I'll be over on Twitch and I will be playing this again. Or, well, she's, I don't even know now. Because everything's still really buggy. I wanted to play this and do the Halloween quests or the missions over in uh, Medved, but um, if everything's still screwy like it is tonight, I mean, I, geez, I don't know, man. So I don't really know what's going to be going on tomorrow night in terms of the stream. I would like it for it to be this and the Halloween missions, but we'll see how everything goes. If they don't patch it, um, it's going to be pretty much impossible. But I will be over on Twitch tomorrow night at 9 p.m. But thank you for coming in, Ulysses. It was good to see you. Hopefully we'll see you again tonight in the stream. But if we don't, we'll see you in the next one. No, Eklund. I wouldn't exactly call myself a Lothario. I do have a fiancé. And we've been together for coming up on two years now. Another couple days. November 2nd will be two years. Um, so. But... Otherwise, I'm too, uh, too aloof. I don't really put myself out there. Be truthful, I would rather see them fix the problems with this game before they add any more content to it. Because I feel like with each content patch that they put out, um, they're just compounding more and more and more bugs and problems on top of more and more bugs and problems. So I kind of wish they'd fix the problems first before um, they put anything else out for it. I mean, I, I can't speak for everybody, obviously, but I'm more than willing to wait for new content if it means we're going to get good quality content and bug fixes. Finally, another mail. Let's see if we can actually get close to them running away. Oh, she's right there, isn't she? I didn't realize she was that. All right, we'll get crouched down. Well, Terror the Bigfoot is in um, classic. I, I don't know. I mean, I guess it would be an interesting Easter egg, but it's not something that you should. You shouldn't be able to just see Bigfoot walking around. But it would be an interesting thing to have, you know, in the game. Maybe a quest line to, you know, discover him or something. And Echo in the future of the channel is pretty much more of the same. Just streaming and making, you know, pre-made content. And just kind of growing the channel from there, you know what I mean? You know, the goal was not going to be money generation or, you know, anything like that. But the goal is to just kind of have fun and, you know, if, uh, if I gain a lot of subscribers along the way, that's all the more fun for, you know, more people to share with. Um, but as far as quality and content and everything goes the goal is going to be um look at this idiot the goal is going to be providing a consistently high quality stream and high quality video content um and as i was saying in the channel uh, the stream earlier that means you know make sure i have up to date equipment and stuff like that thank you Lord. i appreciate that 
right now I've got a pretty decent streaming setup. It's not perfect, but it's it's way better than most. Um, unfortunately, it's a single PC setup. I would like to do a dual PC setup at some point, um, but that's just a big outlay of cash I don't have. Did I do it? Did I actually kill him? Wow. Finally. Ooh, she's not happy. Wow, he actually properly called in a male moose, shot it, and killed it on the spot. That's a first for tonight. Wow, that was a terrible shot too. I'm surprised I killed that. Gold, very nice. Very nice. Uh, Eklund, I don't have any concrete plans for a thousand. Um, I'll be honest, I never really thought I was going to get to a thousand subscribers. I was going to be happy in the three, four hundreds. Um, so I don't know. I don't know if I'll do a giveaway or um, what I'll do, but I do know that when I hit a thousand, I'll be celebrating with a glass of whiskey. In typical manly fashion. Oh, okay. Well, there was an elk there. <coughs> Finally, a big male elk. Come here. Come on. Come here, buddy. Um, well, I mean, moose and elk will run straight at you and hurt you. I don't think they're charging at you. I think it's just a matter of if that's the direction they happen to run in. If they run into you, they will do damage. Um, I think it would be a bit more realistic if... Um, uh, if Moose did charge you, because they're well known for it. Go on, stop. Just yeah, stop. Why is he running away? Oh, what do we got standing over there? Oh, here come a bunch of females. Lured in by my siren's horn. Oh good, what well, is an actual vital hit on this one? Oh yeah, Super, you trying to play the game while you watch me play the game? I can imagine that'd be kind of difficult. Oh, hello, squirrel. Well, what are you doing, buddy? Which direction is he going then? Do you go that way? There he is. Yeah, Alex, there's no release date for it yet, unfortunately. Well, he didn't run very far, but he ran far enough so we didn't get a quick kill. Yeah, I just barely didn't get a quick kill. Nice shot, though. Double long. Now, there was another male that ran this way, but I don't think he ended up coming back in with a call. 
Where did you hear that, Megan? I haven't heard anything, um, but then again, they don't tell us beta testers anything either. What? Did anybody else just watch that deer sprout out of the ground? Somebody planted a deer seed there, and it finally grew. But yes, it would be nice if you guys got it sooner rather than later. She could actually be up to date. All right, I don't think there's going to be any males of this group of females because there almost never is, but we'll take a look and find out. Nope, just a bunch of ladies. Heard something. I don't know if it was that deer or if it was the elk or what it was. It's over this way. The 270 is not too much when you compare it against the 338. That's expensive. But the nice thing is if you're just hunting enough to get your experience and everything, um, you'll just naturally accrue the money. Just make sure you keep your integrity bonus, uh, quick kill, and consecutive harvest bonus up so you maximize the amount of money you get. got going on here yeah I don't know Megan I haven't heard anything about when it's gonna come out like I said it'd be nice if you guys got it soon I'm wondering where he's getting his info from because like I said as a beta tester we haven't heard anything about it Is this male? Is it a male elk here, or what is it? I can't tell because I can't see anything. Let's see if I can't see anything through here. All right, Ulysses, take care, man. Have a good night. Can't see anything through the brush. These ladies keep screwing me up. Yeah, Jackson, I actually really like the 3030 and the 4570 in this game. I wish they had more punch for what they are because they're not as powerful as their actual real life counterparts. That was a moose. Looks like a female moose. Well, there's a female deer. All right, so I guess it wasn't that male elk. That was a waste of time. Of course, I think my wind is blowing right at him, so. Yeah, it was a female moose. Lords, if you get the 243, well, you already had the 243, but if you combo the 243 with the 7 mil, um, that will give you 100% integrity on everything but musk deer and red fox in the game. 
Um, cause the seven mil can give you hundred percent integrity on black bear and up and it will kill everything from black bear and up two, four, three will give you hundred percent integrity on coyote and up. Still not a whole lot to see. I mean, I guess it's it's more realistic this way, but I'd still like to have more stuff to shoot. What do we got up here? Is this the female moose I was tracking? I think it is. Yeah, it is. A bad angle. Let's go for a hard shot. That nah, was not a hard shot. And no, the two two three is not a good purchase. Yeah, that was a bad shot. Um, the 2-2 is not a good purchase because it's very underpowered. The only thing you're going to use the 2 2 3 for, hi bunny, um, is red fox and musk deer. That's it. Um, it's just underpowered for everything else, even the black tail. A super I went over this earlier in the stream um, but basic rule of thumb is any of the sites whether it's single pin three pin or five pin since the bows right now are so screwed up um, the best thing to do is put the middle pin on the animal as long as you have it within 30 meters and you're good to go because you should never be hunting an animal outside of 30 meters with the bow And walk two times, there are no hunting dogs in this game. You're thinking of classic. Let's see if I can't down this moose. I don't want to lose my consecutive harvest bonus. Oh shit, I didn't realize she was right there. Why didn't you guys warn me? What do you guys think? Should we uh, try and go for some black, uh, brown bear in Siberia? Although my luck will be like my stream the other night where they're all stand up and freeze, which I mean, to be truthful, would uh, would make for easy hunting. Well, I mean, Jackson, they do have bird shot, so I would assume that eventually they're going to be adding in birds. But uh, who knows with these guys? They haven't provided any sort of um, roadmap for what they want to do with the game, what content they want to add, and what order they want to add it in. So, who knows? Echo and I have never shot or used a 303 British, so I, I unfortunately cannot comment on it. Um, my recommendation would be just do a Google search on it and see what people say. I mean, I would imagine the 303 is going to function 
similarly to a 308. A 308 has got a lot of stopping power. Megan says do it, guys. I think we need to do it. Unfortunately, the beta client screwed up my save yet again, so I've lost all of my outposts on this map, save for uh, the first one you get to. So um, it's going to be a lot of walk-in. Oh man, I didn't even unlock the first one. I just walked up to here and then stopped. Yeah, see, I had everything unlocked in my other stream. Not anymore. Oh, I got a perk point. What am I going to put it into? I think I had it in there. Now there are moose on this map as well. Whopper, are you talking about in game or in real life? And yeah, Woolers, you can take down Coyote with a 2 through 3. You can take down Blacktail and Whitetail with a 2 through 3. You gotta be in close range and you gotta have a very, very good shot, though. So the 2 4 3 on Coyote gives 100% integrity. You don't down him with one shot, but. And super, um, I'm kind of looking forward to it. Uh, the one reason I've never really gotten into the Monster Hunter series is because it's only been on uh, Nintendo products, which I, after the Super Nintendo, have never really been a fan of. But Daniel, that's been the goal, but man, the animals have been super buggy tonight. It's been difficult. The few that I found have been really bugged out. In game, the 3030 is great um, as long as you're going to be shooting under 100 meters consistently. As long as it's going to be under 100 meters, um, it beats the 243 in terms of stopping power or reload speed. Um, the only real downfalls to the lever action rifles is the fact that they do have a shorter effective range by 50 meters, but also they only have the one scope um, and it has a very dark field of view, unfortunately. So. Um, it can be kind of difficult sometimes to line up shots with it. Well, that being said, if you want to do an upgrade for the 243, the 30... Sorry, the, uh, the 3030 is certainly a respectable upgrade. Let me turn my noise gate on because I'm having trouble hitting the button on my mouse and not wiggling the mouse all over the place. All right, test, test, test. That seems to be working pretty well. All right, so let's try this again. Uh, my favorite thing to hunt in real life, honestly, the only thing I really hunted, uh, I hunted turkey, I've hunted whitetail and 
I mean, that's really about it. Whitetail are fun to hunt, but I mean, there's not a lot of challenge, at least not up in New Hampshire, there's not a lot of challenge. Um, places like um, the Middle Eastern parts of the US, Pennsylvania, etc. A lot of challenge because they're very, very overhunted there. And not overhunted, but there's just a, um, a much, much wider amount of hunters in a smaller amount of area than there is up in New Hampshire. Um, but up in New Hampshire, they're they're not that that hard to hunt as long as you find them. Uh, well, Nathaniel, I'm going after brown bear, which aren't going to have a, a bedding area, unfortunately. Uh, WAP, I have played classic, not very much. Wasn't too impressed with it when I did. So just now, let's see what it's like. Moose. Uh, I don't want a female moose. Jackson, longest shot for me was 451 meters, I think. Uh, unfortunately, I don't have any way to back that up because... Now, let's see. Codex Hunter Profile Card. No. Uh, hunting Profile? There we go. Yeah, so the longest shot on this save was 255 meters, but because... um. Uh, the beta client has screwed up my save so many times I lost my original save file um, which had the 451 meter shot on it that was pure luck there was no skill involved I saw the animal I lined up the shot and it miraculously pulled it off somehow Just a gentle reminder for those of you who are new to the stream or have just kind of checked in recently. Uh, lots of information down in the um, description for the video. Links to all my social media accounts, uh, Facebook, Twitter, Steam group, Discord channel, um, as well as link to my um, Twitch page. Um, check it all out. You know, I stream over on Twitch. Uh, Tuesdays and Thursdays, 9 p.m. I stream here, Mondays and Fridays at 9 p.m. Um, if you want to check that stuff out, go for it. If not, that's cool, too. But I would be remiss if I didn't mention it. And we are doing kind of a push to a 1,000 subscribers. I'm pretty darn close. I'm at, like, 9, 12 or something like that. So, um, Nathaniel, tonight I, I'm going only for... Uh, the big stuff. Which, that's not big stuff. That's musk deer. Which are frustrating to hunt. That is... Moose poop? No, reindeer poop. Yeah, reindeer. They were bugged out to hell the other night, too. Biggest moose? Jeez, I don't even remember, man. It's been so long. I don't really keep track of my scores, to be truthful. I just shoot stuff and then move on to the next. This is such a cool part of the map. Something down there, though. So what is that? That is a male reindeer. Uh, let's see. What else is out there? Don't see a whole lot out there. I do know there's a point up ahead. Down near here, I think. Because I think uh, I think there's an outpost down around here. Um, where in my uh, stream a couple weeks ago, my morning stream when Medved released, there's like four or five brown bear in one spot. I don't know if they're still spawning there like that, but it's worth a look. Mm. 
Yeah, hey, African map would be cool. Oy vey. No sign of bear or nothing. Of course, I lost all of my outposts, so I can't fast travel to some place where I know there's a lot of them. I'm just gonna have to wait until I hear one. Or see tracks for one. Or see one frozen. So, what kind of stuff would you guys like to see on stream? Uh, aside from Call of the Wild content, which it seems like that's what everybody likes to see. Like, what kind of games would you like to see me play? Or uh, what kind of content would you like to see me showcase? Um, you know, I've been playing uh, No Man's Sky the last couple of days. Um, did a Stranded Deep stream last night. Um, I played some Divinity, and I know... Uh, I've played some classic games and stuff like that. Um, so I'm kind of interested to hear what everybody else wants to see on this channel. Um, and, and that doesn't necessarily have to be strictly for streams either. It could be um, for pre-recorded content too. Yeah, I'm surprised they didn't add wolves with this map. Um, mountain lions are, well, at least east of the Rockies, are considered, they were recent until I think just very recently considered extinct. So um, they're, I think they're trying to avoid the hunting of any animals that could be considered um, endangered at the very least. Um, Birds would be good to see. Brown birds and waterfowl would be fun to see. Um, yeah. Farming Sim I do have. I can certainly play that. And that's certainly a game that I can uh, have people play along with me too. Which is kind of nice. Um, never heard of the Battle Royale games. Not sure what you're referring to with that. Call of Duty. I'm not a big fan of games like that. If I'm if I'm honest, first person shooters. I'm pretty much relegated to um, Overwatch. I play a lot of Overwatch. Played probably a little too much Overwatch. I have streamed that a couple times. He's coming up on two hours. Time goes by when you're having fun. He said Riley, filled with sarcasm. I can't, I can't. I have been having fun with you guys. Just this whole lack of animals is frustrating. Then the animals I do come across are, are bugged out is really frustrating. Like, I'm not even seeing any tracks right now. And that's what's really bothering me. Well, that's a male moose. That's a start. I 
Oh, yeah. Um, I played a little bit of PUBG. That game gives me a rash, man. The problem is, is there's no matchmaking or MMR or anything like that, so you can get matched up against people who have way, way more time into the game than you do, and you just get stomped. Whether you've got good gear or not. So, I mean, the little I played of it has just irritated the hell out of me. <clears throat> and the Battle Royale mode for Fortnite, to be truthful, it just looks needlessly complicated and not fun. So now I heard him moves, but... I have no idea exactly where he is. Or even if I'm close enough to get him with a collar, so... I shall proceed cautiously. Hey, Lone Gamer. No, I have not done the Halloween missions yet. The goal was to do this tomorrow night on Halloween night for my um, Twitch stream, but everything's being really weird and wonky. Like, animals are super buggy, so... I want to try and do them tomorrow night, but we'll, we'll see how it all goes. There he is. Your googly moogly, he just suddenly appeared out of nowhere. Here I am without any, co uh, any cover. He ripes, he just showed up. He just ran away, didn't he? I'm pretty sure, yeah, he just ran away. Damn. Damn, damn, double damn. See, that's what I'm talking about is the animals are really buggy right now. We'll see if we can't catch up to him. Trapping might be an interesting addition to the game. They'd have to handle it just right, though. I feel like that would be a hard one to get correct. We got a musk deer up here. Ooh, brown bear. Brown bear, brown bear, brown bear. See if we can't call him in. There it is. We have brown bear, ladies and gentlemen. Yeah, moose are real nervous, and the female elk and the reindeer have been acting really weird, too.
That didn't sketch me out or anything. Wait, did that really just miss that bear? I'm gonna get out the handy dandy handgun. Just in case the thing decides to charge at me. Non vital hit. I could have sworn that was right in the lungs, but. I can't believe I missed with that first shot. Are you for real? Scared the shit out of it, though, by the looks of it. Low bleed rate, well, that's not fun. At least the health's going down. Still can't believe I missed on the first shot. And then the second shot was only a flesh wound or a non vital hit. That means it got it in the guts. There she is. Yeah, so I totally whiffed it with the first shot. And then it was liver shot. No, oh, stomach. Flesh stomach. Wow. It's awfully low. I thought I aimed higher than that. Whatever, we got our first brown bear though. I guess that's all that matters. Where am I at? Okay. Yeah, shotguns don't become useful until you get the slugs and unlock the over under. Or not the over under, the pump action. Uh, until then, they're terrible. Better than they were. Because they used to not give you 100% integrity bonus. Now they do. But they're still pretty damn bad. Handguns aren't too bad. They just have a really short effective range. Keep getting the FPS drops. that lookout point and see if we can't find an outpost at least unlock an outpost while I'm here yeah 
Maybe find some tracks along the way. There's some tracks there. We'll see what that is. Very fresh. It is. That's musk deer. I'm all set. Must be a pain in the ass. Favorite gun? Probably the 7 mil. Yeah. It's just a lynx. I don't know, I don't really have a favorite gun in the game. I mean, they all serve their purpose. Some of them serve less of a purpose than others, but... Well, I've killed everything in the game with a handgun. That's how you unlock the hand, all the handgun stuff. You gotta use them a lot. Um, so I have killed everything in the game with the handgun, so I know it's possible. Uh, it's just they've got a super short effective range on them. Oh boy. Uh, 50 meters or something like that. So it's kind of like the bow where you have to kind of plop yourself down and call the stuff in. Alright, we get up to the top of this tower and get a lay of the land and see where the nearest outpost is. I travel there, unlock that, and then I might call it for the night. Oh, I'm getting tired. I know when I'm getting tired because my nose gets stuffed up. It's the weirdest thing. Like, I know when that's that's when I'm ready for bed is my nose gets all stuffed up. It's I, did, I have no idea why it does it. I don't know what the science is behind it, but that's just kind of how my body works. All right, let's see here. Okay, so this one right down the pathway. I thought it was around here, but I guess not. Oh, you know what? It's over here that I was thinking of. I came up around here, and there was a ton of brown bear there. So, oh, okay. So I skirted southeast. That's how I got here. Good to know. Okay. Well, down we go.
Has everybody been enjoying the stream tonight? I hope I've been at least moderately entertaining. Because uh, the hunting sure hasn't been very entertaining. Hunting's been pretty disappointing. I really, uh, really hope they fix this bug soon. Because these buggy animals are killing me, man. Oh. Just the fact that I can't sneak up on anything without running around or getting frozen or... Getting prematurely spooked is just... It's a bummer, man. And it should never have gotten into the game. Or into the release. It should have never been a part of it. It was reported in beta and they just never fixed it. They said screw it and pushed it out anyway. So what happens when you only give content to the beta testers a week before it's supposed to come out. get so turned around. I'll tab out for two seconds and I get all screwed up. Uh, Nathaniel, there's no different types of broadheads in this game, unfortunately. I think that would be an interesting change, though, to change out what kind of broadheads you're using. Um, I'm using the 600 grain arrows, though, for reference. That's for all the big game. Guys, if you're watching and you have not yet subscribed and you are interested in doing so, please do so. I'm pushing towards a thousand subscribers. Um, I'm hoping to have that by the end of the year. We're pretty damn close now. I think we're about 80 away. Um, so we're in the home stretch. So if you like the content that I provide, whether it's the streams or the pre recorded content, please go ahead and hit that subscribe button so you know when I put out more of it. It was a reindeer, I think. What's special about this one? Um, it's just interesting. I mean, there's nothing really special about the different maps other than appearances, really. I mean, this is a Siberian map, so it's it's a winter wonderland. Um, there's different animals uh, as compared to the European one. So, um, whereas in Hirschfelden, you have red fox, roe deer, fallow deer, wild boar, red deer, and bison. Uh, in this one, you have musk deer, um, Eurasian lynx, wild boar, reindeer, brown bear, and moose. So you got different animals. Um, you've got a different appearance. Um, you know, obviously it's a, a snowy climate as compared to um, the lush green one of Hirschfelden. Same size, 25 square miles. Um, you know, everything looks a little different. Like, even the cabins and everything look different. And I will tell you this. It, <laughs> cool little thing they added with this map, which blew my mind when I saw it, is this right here. Look at that. You can actually get inside the cabin. How freaking cool is that? I hope they do that with the other cabins. I don't really like the fact that the snow blows in like that, but, I mean, it is what it is. Um... I, I think this is just such a cool touch to be able to get inside the cabins. 
And the outhouses too. You can go out to the outhouses. Give the toilet seat a little bit of a flip. I don't know why. Somebody actually took the time to do that. Um, but, you know, the outposts look different and yeah. So that's really the only difference. It's just a matter of personal preference, I guess. Um, we, I don't know. Oh, excuse me. I don't know if you can start on this map if you start a new game or not, or if you're stuck to the other two, um, or if this one's considered an advanced map, but I can't imagine that you can't start on this map, but you'd be gimping yourself because the musk deer don't have a collar. Reindeer are kind of difficult to take down with the 243, and the boar are nowhere near where you first start out. So um, I think Leighton would probably be a better choice. Hirschfelden's okay. Leighton's better, I think. Uh oh. Oh, all right, guys. I can't stop yawning. I'm exhausted. I've been up since 6 o'clock this morning, so it's time for me to go to bed. Um, which means it's time to end the stream. I'm glad everybody came out tonight. It was it was great to see everybody in the chat. And, you know, to all the people who weren't in the chat, but are still watching, thank you for watching. I really appreciate that. Um, it's, it's nice to have people come out and spend the evening with me and watch me play this game and talk to me and interact and it's just kind of great to have that I never really thought I'd get to this point where I had a bunch of people watching me play a video game um, you know the goal has always been just to hang out and have fun and talk to people and so far I think I've been pretty successful with that so um, thank you guys for coming out and again if you have not yet subscribed and you like the content click that subscribe button um, I'm pushing towards a thousand I don't know what I'm gonna do for a thousand sort of celebration or video or whatever but um, you know, I, every single person that hits that subscribe button and every other person that has already done so since I first started the channel, um, thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you from the bottom of my heart. You, it means a lot to me that you guys want to take the time to spend with me. Um, so, um, again, from the bottom of my heart, thank you guys so much for being here with me and, and, and enjoying this experience with me. Hopefully, with the next stream that I do for Call of the Wild, things will be a little bit more patched up and fixed because right now they're just buggy and not very much fun. Uh, next stream here on YouTube is going to be Friday at 9 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Um, Twitch, I will be there tomorrow, 9 p.m. And then Thursday at 9 p.m. Wednesday's an off night for me. So um, if you do follow people on Twitch, by all means, go down to the description. I have a link to my Twitch channel there. You know, give me a follow. And that way you'll know when I go live. Um, and again, down in um, the description, there's links to all the social media stuff, Facebook, Twitter, Discord, Steam Group, etc. Um, click on those links if you'd like. Check it out and you know, hit a follow, subscribe, thumbs up, whatever. Oh, who grew a beard? M14SRB. Thank you very much, mister. One more towards the big four digits. All right, guys. Thank you very much. Have a great night, and we will see you in the next stream. Take care, everybody.